Hey guys, it's OSK. I wanted to make a quick little video to help you guys with training your aim for spell break. Personally, I just had a breakthrough while playing the game where I could just not miss with Frost, and I wanted to share my experience with that, and also how I train my aim just in general between all the games I play, but especially in Spellbreak. Spellbreak has kind of a quirky sensitivity system, and I'll kind of go over that here in this video today. You kind of have to mess with game files, and I'll guide you all through it. Spellbreak, as you've probably realized by now, has nothing but projectiles, so the translation between your traditional FPS and this third-person projectile fest is pretty muddled. So that's why I made this video. Also just want to point out that the first part of this video only applies to PC but later on we'll get into things that even console players can take advantage of. Now without further ado let's get into this. So first things first we need to find out your mouse sensitivity. If you come from a different shooter or FPS I'd recommend just taking note of the sensitivity from that game and saving it for later. For this example I'm going to use my overwatch sensitivity. After you have your sensitivity, you're going to want to go to a website called mousesensitivity.com. That's mouse-sensitivity.com. It's completely free and very accurate. What you want to do is scroll down and select the game you're coming from and put in all the stats. I personally play on 1440p and have a 24 inch monitor, but none of that really matters to be honest. Just make sure to change this box from config file to in game on the overwatch side of things. So important. Then you go into the second slot, plug in the game you want to convert to. I'm going to put spell break and then you just scroll down a little lower to get your stats. Make sure you have the spell break box set as config file. This is very important for getting a one to one sensitivity from another game into spell break. Now this is where spell break kind of throws us for a loop because as of the making of this video, you can't adjust your in game sensitivity by a decimal value by default in the actual game. It'll just round your sensitivity to a whole number. However, there is a trick that you can do on PC in the game. If you type in your sensitivity as a decimal and do not press enter, the game will visually display a whole number but will act as if it's the decimal number. Kind of weird but you do what you gotta do. Once it gets addressed it'll make this so much easier. Alternatively you can just head into the game files by navigating to the pathing I have on your screen and opening the game user settings.ini file. After that just look for mouse sensitivity x and mouse sensitivity y. These are in decimal format, so 0 0.1000 will show up as a 10 in game, and 0 0.09 will show up as a 9 in game, and so on. This is where you want to plug in that config file value you have from mousesensitivity.com directly into this file and save it. The next time you load Spellbreak, it will display the whole number, but you can just check in your game file and see that it is in fact the exact decimal. One other thing to take note, if you want, is your inches per 360 value in mouse sensitivity. It's very valuable for future titles when you're converting sensitivity for other games. Now you have a precise sensitivity we can work with. For training aim specifically, I recommend plugging in one of these aim trainers I'm going to give you here. The first one I'm going to recommend is Kovac 2.0. It's on Steam, it's about 10 bucks as of the making of this video. It's got great tools, you can make a playlist of aim training programs and share it with your friends, good stuff. Alternatively, you can download another aim trainer from Steam called Aimtastic. It's made with Unity and is free, but it has a lot less tools. You can train your aim with both, so just choose whichever one you prefer. I personally like Kovacs better just because the feel of it has a lot more like what you'd have in a traditional FPS, but if you don't like spending 10 bucks on a name trainer then you have a free option. Once you're in Kovac or Aimtastic they will both take a range of sensitivities and you can convert these from mouse sensitivity as well. From there just make sure to set your FOV to 103 to match Spellbreak and fire away. Now that's for training hit scan aim and all that sort of stuff, but Spellbreak has nothing but projectiles so what is a Valbreaker to do? Console players you're gonna like this one. You can hop into the practice tool and load in as a pyromancer. After you spawn in, you're going to want to turn around and activate that little yellow orb three times until you unlock your final skill conflagration. After that, go somewhere with a really high wall and just try to chain these small fireballs as many times as you can. That should help you get used to the fireball's trajectory and travel speed. You can back up or get really close to adjust your experience and all that sort of stuff. Once you get comfortable with that, I'd recommend reloading into practice as a Tempest with Runic Fluency and pick up a Frost, Legendary Gear, and a Dash Room. Make sure to at least pick up one skill point for updraft and just go over to one of the dummies. Once you're here, I like to practice a few flick shots, get my bullet drop all figured out, and I like to chain frosts by wind jumping, popping tornado, then dashing twice with a frost snipe in between each. Once I feel comfortable doing that and I'm getting to the end of my practice session, I do what I call the cycle. 
Basically, it's just an eight shot circle you make around the target and practice your flicks. You can go as wide as you want and as far back as you want. Once I feel like I can hit all those angles, I'm ready to drop in the hollow lands and wreak some havoc. I generally recommend about a 10 to 15 minute warm up session for maximum effect. And once you're all trained up and ready to go, maybe you'll end up hitting shots like this. This. Or even this. Thanks for watching guys, and do let me know if you found this helpful in the comments. I'd like to thank Thunderson and Pika from the Element Discord for giving me some help with clarifying a few of the sensitivity things. Feel free to join that Discord for competitive events and advice from the best players in the game. They are really helpful. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube thing. Check out the socials in the box below, and be sure to follow the Twitch channel where you can find me playing some Spellbreak and practicing some casting. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you out there.